The Woman at the Well Jesus came to the town of Sychar. It was near the field that Jacob had long ago given to his son Joseph. The well that Jacob had dug was still there, and Jesus sat down beside it because he was tired from travelling. It was noon, and after Jesus' disciples had gone into town to buy some food, a Samaritan woman came to draw water from the well. Would you please give me a drink of water? You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink of water when Jews and Samaritans won't have anything to do with each other? You don't know what God wants to give you, and you don't know who is asking you for a drink. If you did, you would ask me for the water that gives life. Sir, you don't even have a bucket, and the well is deep. Where are you going to get this life-giving water? Our ancestor Jacob dug this well for us, and his family and animals got water from it. Are you greater than Jacob? Everyone who drinks this water will get thirsty again. But no one who drinks the water I give will ever be thirsty again. The water I give will become in that person a flowing fountain that gives eternal life. Sir, please give me a drink of that water. Then I won't get thirsty and have to come to this well again. Go and bring your husband. I don't have a husband. That's right. You're telling the truth. You don't have a husband. You've already been married five times and the man you're now living with isn't your husband. Sir, I can see that you are a prophet. My ancestors worshipped on this mountain. But you Jews say Jerusalem is the only place to worship. Believe me, the time is coming when you won't worship the Father either on this mountain or in Jerusalem. You Samaritans don't really know the one you worship, but we Jews know the God we worship, and by using us, God will save the world. But a time is coming, and it is already here. Even now, the true worshippers are being led by the Spirit to worship the Father according to the truth. These are the ones the Father is seeking to worship him. God is Spirit. And those who worship God must be led by the Spirit to worship him according to the truth. I know that the Messiah will come. He is the one we call Christ. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. I am that one, and I am speaking to you now. <gasps> the disciples returned about this time and were surprised to find Jesus talking with a woman. But none of them asked him what he wanted or why he was talking with her. The woman left her water jar and ran back into town, where she said to the people, Come and see a man who told me everything I have ever done. Could he be the Messiah? Everyone in town went out to see Jesus. While this was happening, Jesus' disciples were saying to him, Teacher, please eat something. I have food you don't know anything about. His disciples started asking each other, Has someone brought him something to eat? My food is to do what God wants. He's the one who sent me and I must finish the work that he gave me to do. You may say there are still four months until harvest time, but I tell you to look and you will see that the fields are ripe and ready to harvest. Even now, the harvest workers are receiving their reward by gathering a harvest that brings eternal life. Then, everyone who planted the seed and everyone who harvests the crop will celebrate together. So the saying proves true. Some planted the seed and others harvest the crop. I am sending you to harvest crops in fields where others have done all the hard work. A lot of Samaritans in that town put their faith in Jesus because the woman had said, This man told me everything I have ever done. They came and asked him to stay in their town, and he stayed on for two days. Many more Samaritans put their faith in Jesus because of what they heard him say. They told the woman, 
We no longer have faith in Jesus just because of what you told us. We've heard him ourselves, and we are certain that he is the saviour of the world.' 